Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to week 7 English Literature. I am your teacher Maryam Khan and I will demonstrate to you about chapter number 3 of Swiss Family Robinson. Dear students, now look at the vocabulary words of chapter number 3. Ashore, on the shore. Bars, a solid piece of something to eat. Delicious, tasty. Shellfish, fish with exoskeleton. Lobster, a marine crustacean. Clasp, grasp. Poured, filled. Horrible, scary. Oyster, sea mollusk. Snarling, aggressive growl. Agouti, a rodent. Rush, be quick, yell, shout, immediately, instantly. The family was safely ashore. The family built a tent and a rough kitchen from the articles on the island and the wrecked ship. Elizabeth made a soup for the dinner. Jack went to collect shellfish where a lobster bit him whom he killed in anger. Pastor gave him a moral lesson here never to be unkind to animals as they only protect themselves. The Ernest, then Ernest, brought some oysters and salt. Pastor told Jack that we cannot use seawater as it is too bitter. While they were collecting food items, Ernest suggested they can use coconuts for uh, bowls and oyster shells for soups. Fritz returned from hunting along with a small animal called a goatee. The dogs were hungry and attacked the small goatee which infuriated Fritz. Pastor again imparted his wisdom by explaining it to the boy that it's the nature way, it's nature's way. Students now come to written work. As you have read this chapter in week 6, and you have also recalled the events. Now you will summarize the chapter by your own self and then you will uh, again recall the events to know that as you're informed about Robinson's family on the island, what they are doing, what they are up to. So you have to tell in the form of an answer that how they build a home and use everything available from their uh, wrecked ship to make themselves comfortable. Is there a lesson to be learned? Yes, one should never lose hope and God help those who help themselves. And again, you have a question that you have to read the passage before attempting the comprehension and vocabulary exercises. And you will have to answer them in, the, in your own words. You will have to do exercise 1, 2 and 3 of your activity section. Thank you for today.